Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by biodiversity. You should then be able to describe what's meant by deforestation and how this is reducing biodiversity. Ok now so far in this topic we've seen that the world supports a huge range of living organisms. As well as humans we've got thousands of different plants and animals as well as bacteria and fungi. The variety of all of the different species of organisms on Earth is called biodiversity, and that's a key definition that you need to learn. Now, biodiversity can also refer to an individual ecosystem, so a scientist might talk about the biodiversity in the Amazon rainforest. Biodiversity is really important for ecosystems. As we've seen in previous videos, species depend on each other for food and for shelter. Species also help to maintain the environment. For example, decomposers break down the remains of dead organisms. A high level of biodiversity means that there are lots of different species, and this makes an ecosystem more stable. Lots of different species mean that the ecosystem is less dependent on one species. So if the population of a species falls, it's less likely to affect the whole ecosystem. Now humans are having a negative effect on biodiversity, and a good example is deforestation. Tropical forests contain a very rich biodiversity. However, large areas of these forests are being destroyed to provide land. And in the exam you could be asked to describe the reasons for this. The land is often used for rice fields or for grazing cattle. In many cases the land is used to grow crops, which are then used to make biofuels. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on biodiversity and deforestation in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.